Captain Zaid. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good evening, uh, sirs, ladies, and gentlemen. Uh, initially, I'd like to express my sincere thanks and uh, to the organizers of this event because of the excellent welcoming yesterday and hospitality we found since we stepped India. And uh, I'm great to, to, to stay in front of you and uh, talk about your expertise in, in, in this uh, event. And I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll try to show you our uh, point of view in uh, MDA. My presentation overview is contains the importance of MDA, governmental and non-governmental response to the MDA challenges, area of responsibility and area of interest, changing threat environment, common MDA tools, and integrating weather data, and finally, the summary. Definitions of MDA. The effect the effective understanding of anything associated with the global maritime domain that could impact the security, safety, economy, or environment of a nation. Maritime domain awareness is, is a component of and a key enabler to maritime security, of course. Maritime domain awareness is we, we succeeded by collecting, fusing, and identifying, and finally, to, to, uh, to disseminate the information. We collect by intelligence, sensors, open source data, and commercial vessels. Information exchange between countries and organizations important to build trust also. The information continuum works from top data, information, knowledge, understanding, and you will find that you are reaching the wisdom. MDA situational awarenesses. We've got observables like vessels. We can get information from vessels, people, facilities, cargo, infrastructure, sea lanes, and friendly forces and weather. We collect it from sensors and personal and open source data and Law and also we are collecting it from law enforcement. At the end, we will decide on a strategic way or operational way and tactical way as well. Secondly, we will go for governmental and non-governmental response to the MDA challenges. Oman Maritime Security Center, OMSC, is one of the centers which falls under the umbrella of a National Security Board Congress in Oman. MSC deals with common maritime incidents occur in Oman seas. It has the command and control over the units and assets delegated to the countries to, to, to encounter maritime threats. <coughs> Example of multinational maritime information sharing organization, as we all know, IMB, Piracy Reporting Center in Malaysia, the Joint Integrity Task Force in US, the Maritime Board Command in Australia, Coast Watch South in Philippines, the Information Fusion Center in Singapore, South Africa Centers in South Africa, Indian Ocean Coastal Surveillance in India. Then we will go for area of responsibilities and area of interest. As we can see from this slide, the global maritime picture, how it looks like. It's a very huge global maritime. We can almost say double the land. So we may be more than double the land. Common operating pictures. So we can see on top left that th there is an Oman and India opposite of the ocean. So it's almost too much, too much of operating areas to cover. From this slide, we can get some information like 50% 50 of, 50 of sink, sinking due to rough weather, leaks, breaking in 
breaking in two are from the general cargo vessels. So, I mean, general cargo vessels, 50% of, of the drone vessels on the oceans. Also, 90% from shipping delivers of all world trade. So, 90% are trade from the sea. Changing threat environment. We've got traditional naval threats. We all know that. And we've got transnational maritime threat, which is the most complex, challenging intelligence problem. So in these merchant vessels, it's very complicated. It can be accurate like and decisive as well. So they can move easily from port to port. They can deliver whatever you want to deliver because they have a very huge amount of containers on board and they can move even you cannot identify them they can stop three four times before you even identify them common mda tools we've got an ais system ais system is an maritime navigational safety communication adopted by the international maritime organization that provides dynamic static and voyage information including vessels identifying type, position, headings, course, and speed to appropriately equipped shore stations. Other ships and aircraft AIS data is available to anyone carrying an AIS transponder and is within the range to receive the AIS signal. This AIS might be worse as well because it can be for, uh, for anybody. That's mean even pirates or illegal, illegal uh, I mean, uh, illegal teams they can use it for also identifying the ships this screen shows us the value of AIS this this shot being taken in 2006 it has 60 con 60 contacts only and it shows the Mediterranean in 2006 again with AIS system screen it shows us 3343 ships on the Mediterranean as well. So we can get an, a clear picture on how it's how is the ships on the on the sea. Other common MDA tools, Maritime Safety and Security Information System, MSSIS is a multi is a multilateral non-classified data sharing system designed to improve the MDA of the United States and its allies and partners through the sharing of AIS data through an internet-based system. The MSSIS initiative has obtained international acceptance as a standard of the exchange of maritime data and has become the maritime data sharing system of choice by more than 75 nations. Common MDA tools, and again, we have MEH, Maritime Electronic Highway. The implementation of the MEH demonstration project in the Straits of Malacca and Singapore began in June 2006, following the signing of an agreement between the Global Environment Facility, World Bank, and the International Maritime Organization, IMO. The MEH is built upon the network of electronic navigational chart covering the region that, that allow the maximum of information to be made available both to ships and shipmasters as well as shore-based users such as vessels, traffic services. And last, we've got an LRIT system. Also works with IMO uh, signals, but we can identify them from nationally or regionally or internationally, and it gets a wider uh, screen uh, information. Integrating weather data. Weather avoidance is also uh, related to MDA. So, I mean, we can get the information uh, from, from certain or even more than now, it's more than five or six reliable uh, websites and organizations. We've got Fleet Numerical Meteorological Oceanography Center in California. We've got global and regional meteorological and oceanographic models weather satellite imaginary, uh, imagery products, 
the U.S. Navy weather protection, <coughs> tactical decision aids, and also we can get some available our own on lines. To summarize, maritime domain awareness is now we are protecting information. We should in the future move information. It's I mean no benefit from protecting information because if you protecting information will come across your border and others will be affected. Need to know, need to share also insight from those who know need. We should we should need to know. Nothing to be says no, we don't need to know. We should know everything. Avoid risk. We should not avoid risk because if you avoid risk, they will come to you. You should manage it. You should know how to manage the risk. Stove pipe control access. You have to build trusted network between all of us. Write a highest classification. You should start at lowest classification and details later on will come up. MDA secrets. Build a personal international trust. Encourage and reward relations. Schedule cycle face-to-face -face meetings as we are doing. Technology is a tool, not replacement for skilled analysis or superior analysis. Select your best people to be liaising officers. They replacement your country and they represent your country and your organization. Invest in your people, not just systems. We will end up by a bottom line. No organization, nation can achieve a comprehensive MDA alone. We all need integrity and international cooperation to success. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Captain Zayed.